Today I'm going to show how to properly do a seafoam treatment on my car. You know, the one that you see all over YouTube and do the smoke and all. Well, the last video I did of the seafoam, I already had it in the car and just showed the smoke. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go completely in depth on what to do. So let's begin. The first thing before starting anything like this, it actually helps to read the bottle. Because it actually says that you can do other things with this, like you can put it in the oil and you can put it in the gas tank. But from our needs, it just matters when putting it in the uh, vacuum or induction system. First off, this engine has to be hot, normal operating temperature. And then you want to take a third of this and pour it in a cup. Now this is about a third. Um, a third of this, this can is six inches long, just pour two inches worth. It looks like a lot, and trust me, it is. And now you want to start the engine. Now you want to do is pull a vacuum line like I did. It'll run a little terrible. Take it, and you let the engine suck it. And then you want to turn it off. And then let it sit for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, you can either sit here and rev it up and let all the all the smoke blow out. And what the smoke is, is that what the seafoam is doing is that it's attaching itself to the carbon deposits inside the combustion chamber. And then it gets blown out of the exhaust. However, that's not always true. Some of it does get past the piston rings and goes into the oil. Which means after you do a seafoam, it's a good idea to change the oil. So we're going to wait 10 minutes, and then uh, I think I'm going to drive it instead of let it sit here. Yeah, you can do you can do this sitting like I did last year, but it's also it's more preferred that if you drive it. So I'm going to drive it. That's how you do the first part of the seafoam. Now I'm going to change the oil, and that'll be in the next part, in the next, the next video. On a side note, I did replace these, so it looked nice with the new carb. I also have a few other things planned, but that'll be in the next video. This is 84 Hachi signing off.